The idea of a Greyhound lab mix sounds a little comical at first, but there is actually an interesting hybrid dog here. In this video of Greyador Dog, we will look at some of the key Greyhound lab mix info to help you understand this breed a little better. We will start with the physical traits, such as the size and coat. This leads to information on their health and care needs. We will then look at the personality of this dog, its behavioral issues and training needs. Finally, we will look at where to get a lab greyhound mix for the family. Before we move on with this video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him, her. Link to the free, secret training technique, guide is in the description below. Important information on physical greyhound lab mix characteristics. The first question on the minds of many dog lovers is what does this Labrador and greyhound mix even look like? We probably all have the same image in our minds when we hear the word Greyador of a stretched out, skinny Labrador. This isn't too far from the mark in terms of its build, but probably not to the extent that you expect. The size of this dog can vary depending on the dominance of the genes towards either the Greyhound or Labrador side of the parentage. This generally means a Lab Greyhound mix size of about 25 to 30 inches height and Lab Greyhound mix weight of 65 to 80 pounds. They are a curious looking dog with the lean frame, long Greyhound face and big floppy Lab ears. Another important physical feature is the coat both in type and color. These dogs, like their parents, can come in a range of colors. We see this in the cute Lab Greyhound mix pictures online. This often reflects the type of Labrador the Greyhound bred with. This means many Lab Greyhound mix puppies with the same coloration as a yellow Lab, but also much darker coats too. It all depends on whether this is a yellow Lab and Greyhound mix, chocolate Lab Greyhound mix or black Lab Greyhound mix. As for the coat quality, they are sure to be short-haired and easy to look after with moderate Greyhound mix shedding. Taking care of a Greyhound lab mix puppy at home. The size of the dog leads us to some interesting issues with their care and diet. If you know your Greyhounds and Labradors, you will know that they are active breeds that require plenty of exercise to stay fit and healthy. This is no different with this Labrador Greyhound mix, as the eagerness to play and the love of running will keep owners on their toes. You need to be sure that you can give these dogs enough space and attention. A good exercise regimen and playtime in the yard is also important for staying fit. You want them to keep that lean look, and diet alone won't be enough. It is especially important to watch their exercise regimens and portions when we consider the fact that both parent dogs are prone to weight gain. On the subject of health, there are some small issues to watch out for here with this Greyhound and Lab mix. There is a chance that these dogs may inherit some conditions from their parents. So make sure that there isn't a history of illness in the line when talking to breeders. Watch out for gastric issues, the usual allergies and hip problems. Unfortunately, a number of Greyador owners say that hip dysplasia is the biggest problem they have encountered. Also keep in mind that the typical Greyhound lab mix lifespan is 10 to 12 years. What about the lab Greyhound mix temperament? There shouldn't be too many surprises with the personality of these dogs because the two purebred parents are quite alike in many ways. This is an affectionate, happy and friendly dog where owners often praise them for their roles as guard dogs and companions. The differences between them are that the Lab is more outgoing and playful, while the Greyhound is sweet and quiet. However, there are negative traits, often from the Greyhound, that may come through in this pup. They aren't too big an issue if the dog is trained well, but could be a problem otherwise. There is an independent side to the Greyhound, as well as a stronger hunting drive and impulse to wander. If this dog sounds like a great companion for your family, and you have the right experience and confidence to handle one, you need to find a good breeder. This is not a well-known or popular crossbreed. This isn't like many other mixes where there is high demand due to media attention or a fad. The Greyador is an oddity that we come to love once we get to know it. 
Therefore, there are fewer breeders and less options. This may mean traveling and paying a higher price for a good pup. Take your time to research lab greyhound mix breeders and spend time with the litter and parent dogs. This will give you a better idea of their lineage and traits. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the Secret Training Technique Guide absolutely free. It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you liked the video. Please subscribe to the Little Paws Training channel if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.